Hi everyone, it's Rob the Axeman here. Welcome to another episode of Axeman's Fishing Adventures. It's been a while since I've been on the water. It's been probably five or six weeks with a fair bit going on and have just not been able to get out here. So we're down at Mount Martha. It's Good Friday. Hopefully that means good fishing and uh, we get a feed of fish for dinner tonight. So we're looking for some late season snapper. Um, we'll go out deep, 23 metre mark off Mount Martha to start with and then we'll have a look around and see how we go and um, fish out there for the tide change about 6, uh, sunrise about 6.30 uh, and if we don't do any good we'll come in close and have a look for a squid or some garfish or some floody on the soft plastic so we'll see how we go Big one, a really big one, Riley. So we're out here, 23 metre mark. It's about 5.30, quarter to six now. Um, supposed to be five knots, willy weather. Definitely not. It's getting a bit choppy out here. It was uh, pretty good close in, so I'm thinking it might be a bit of an offshore breeze, but anyway. I've got some rods in, I've got a snapper snatcher on this one, some pillies, uh, silver whiting on this one, and a Australian salmon fillet on that. What do you run, Riley? Uh, squid ring, whiting, um, whiting head, and pillier. All right, so we've got some baits in there. We've got the fish candy silver whiting there, which is always good out here, and the uh, large squid as well for the fish candy. So we've been out here a bit over an hour now and uh, we've just had the tide change, it's starting to run out and we've just got first light, um, sunrise in about 15-20 minutes. Uh, no bites yet, no buckles, still got the same rods out. One other boat just over there, 23 metre mark, so um, we'll ride it out for another bit, hour and a half or so and see how we go, hopefully we can get a buckle. Alright, so yeah, I'm still out here at the 23 metre mark. The water temperature is actually really, really good. You can see that there. It's 20.5 degrees. Nothing on the sounder. But um, that's quite common for out here. We just sort of anchor up in a spot where we've caught fish before and uh, burly up and wait for one of those event type things, a tide change or a sunrise or something. And hopefully that brings them on. Let's see how we go. It was just the snapper stature. Oh, what have we got? Little shark? Ah, oh, school shark. Little school shark. A cracker. Got teeth, these fellas. Just gotta be a little bit careful. Right in the corner of the mouth. Oh, beautiful little fish. Got that clear nose and sharp teeth. We can go back. <clears throat> there he goes, got a ripper. Well, that's the first catch for the day. Hopefully, we can get something a bit bigger. Okay. Watch the other 
rods. Nothing on the sounder. Snapper, you think? Yeah, I reckon. Oh, yeah, it's got some, got some tugs. Careful. Careful, mate, just take it easy. This boat just splits two boats. Feel like a good fish, or? Yeah, or do you want me to get any rods in? Uh, should be out of the way of that one. I'm sure. There's like four big runs already. That's it. That's good. Yeah, it'll be a sound. In deep water. We're in 23 meters out here. No other rods going yet. Oh, geez, it's another big run. Old lucky again, eh? Yep. Two dollar sure. thirty-six rod off eBay. I just Unreal. saw some bloody bites on it like five minutes ago. I think that was it. I think that was. It. What was on this? Snapper snapper, yeah. yeah. I think that was the pilchard going, and I think it's. Oh, yeah. it's good flat. I think that's what it's. Take it easy, buddy. No other rods going yet. Nothing on the sounder. Oh, he's a good one. Might be five, six kilos. I've been fighting this whole time. Oh, that other rod's about to go. Oh, no, you, you're tangled. tangled. Yeah. You're tangled. Yeah, you just leave it. Yet. Yeah. There he is, he's a good one. He's a really good one. Oh yep, he's a ripper. Oh, oh he's just pooed himself. Oh, he's a beauty mate. He's a good he's four beauty. kilos I reckon. As a really good <laughs> late season snapper. <laughs> Well done, matey. It's, uh, that's a good fish. Well, he's like close to four and a half, I reckon, even that. That's a good size. Get him out. Ooh, that was a good fish. Snap, snap, circle hook. On An old lucky with a piece of squid, that one. Yep. So. Ripper. Yeah, there we go. It's a late season snapper. We are on Good Friday and we have fish for dinner. <laughs> He's a beauty, mate. Absolute ripper. Oh, that's a good right fish. on the sunrise. Have yeah. a look at that. That's a good fish. What a cracker. Yeah, I reckon he's about four, four and a half, that one. It's a good solid fish. Yeah. You happy, mate? Yeah, very happy about that. Good Friday for you, yeah. hey? You finally got a snapper yeah, <laughs> right at the end of the season. Good one. That's a beauty. Well done. Alright, so old Lucky's gone over again. It's not a big fish. Still, do you want a uh, yeah, no, I don't. I don't know what it is. It's alright, yeah. it's a bit more of a game now. I don't think it's as big as yours though. Just watch those other rods, Summer. It's a it's gummy, good. tangled up. A little gummy. Oh well, he's not big enough. Thank you. Little gummy shark, all wrapped up. As they are, don't bite me, little fella. I'm trying to help you here. Amazing how they get wrapped up so quickly. Oh, it's another school shark, not a gummy. Oh, yeah. It's got teeth. I 
That's why he was trying to bite me. Little bugger. Yeah, probably. There he is. They're a beautiful looking fish. And that clear nose. Very nice. Summer, can you just get a photo for me, please? Very similar colour to the gummy, but just that clear nose gives them up and it's a lot pointier. Yeah. Beautiful little fish, but he can go back now. Don't bite me. There we go. See you later, matey. Come back when you're 20 kilos. We've got a beautiful sunrise over there. We've got one 4.5 kilo snapper on deck. I'm starting to get a couple of rods getting pulled at. I've got a whole Australian salmon on this big boy over here and it's just had a bit of a grab at it. Let's see if something comes back. Couldn't have taken it off. It's starting to happen. Bait. This had a whole salmon on it. That hook was out that side like that. It had a whole head and everything and the bite has come from this side by the look of it and it's missed the hook but it's taken the whole head and it didn't come back for the rest of it that would have been a big snapper and we're just unlucky to miss it oh well I'll chuck another one in and see how we go this time Very unlucky. That must have been like a matter of millimeters on that hook. Yeah. Because with those hooks, those are the good hooks. If yeah, they these. Just gotten just a smidget on there, it would have hooked up. Yeah. Just a small amount of that hook, and it would have been on. That would have been a big boy McCoy for sure. The size of that bite. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I don't think it was a shark. I reckon that was a snapper. Because yeah. it's taken just the head. They love the head. Yeah. If he's still down there and he's still hungry. Oh, that's a good fish. It needs a new battery in it, Summer. Put a new battery in it, quick. That's on. Can you move that rod? Yep. Oh! I'm going to have to come in this corner, mate. Oh. This is a big fish, whatever it is. Yep. It just took a whole salmon. Thank you. You should be right. Some good head shakes. Hoping for a snapper. Could be a gummy. Feels more like a snapper. Yep, that's a snapper. It's not as big as what he feel. He fought hard. He's still a nice fish. <laughs> Hold on. About three kilos. He smashed that salmon. Well, he ripped it in half. Nice! Oh, cracker. That's right down there. I'm going to put my fingers in there. These BKK hooks. Right in the corner of the mouth. Good fish. Nice fish. Find the sun. Yeah, it's good fish. Not as big as your one, but it's still a beauty. 
Well done. Happy with that. All right, so that, uh, that last snapper I just caught, probably about three kilos, this is what we're using. Uh, we were catching these off Mount Martha the other other week there, 20, 25 centimetre roughly salmon, being frozen. I'm just through the top there. Double snell. That's through the side of the head there, just in front of the eye, not the eye, because it's too soft. Just allow two movement and then another one just through the middle there. Right the way out. One's getting a bit twisted from the other. Looks like that, just over the half shanks over there. We've got exposure, one in the head, one in the guts, and there. There we go, we're set. Okay, so we've been here a year, ooh, getting on about three or four hours now, and we caught two snapper and two school sharks. That's been about it. Had a couple of hits on the rods as well, buckled over, but they didn't set the hooks. So it's pretty good, we're pretty happy with that. A 4.5 kilo and a three kilo snapper. It's uh, pretty good for this time of year, late season. What we're going to do now is just head into Mount Martha in close, have a look around, see if we can find a squid or a salmon, and uh, let's see how we go. So we've uh, come into Sunnyside over near Mount Eliza, just uh, looking around some squid jigs, see what we can come across. It's quite choppy now, it's uh, very sloppy, it's close knit, tight chop, which makes it very difficult. I was uh, getting over here. But anyway, well, uh, we're drifting pretty fast, probably a bit too quick. Probably about three kilometres an hour, which isn't too bad. But anyway, we'll uh, look a few squid jigs around and see what we can come up with. And then, this is one. Tiny little. He's only little, but it's a squiddy. First squiddy in a long time. <laughs> no ink, please. He's a nice little fella, just caught by the one candle there. Very nice, that'll do. Hold on. Caught one, finally. finally. It's got Smitty here, looks all right. It's our second one. Oi, he lost it! Riley boy! Is still there? No. Nah.
So now we're out off Mount Martha, just on the point. The beach is just around the corner there. Got to go up Mornington and sunny side and a couple of spots in between, but just got that one small squiddy at uh, sunny side. Riley had one on at Mornington on the point. It uh, came off just at the edge of the boat, unfortunately. We just had a couple follow it. Now just no one to follow it here. Very tentative. I don't know if it's because the water is so clean and clear. They're just very tentative, not coming up and taking it hard. Go on. Go on. Go on. Yeah. Nice. One candle on mine. Do you want the net? I might just grab it with one hand. Get a few of them to feed or good bait. Alright, so that's the end of our day today. We've got the two nice snapper there, one at four and a half kilos and one at three kilos. A couple of little squiddies as well that Rolly's just doing in there. And a couple of little school sharks as well. So we came out for snapper. It's the end of season. It's uh, as I said, it's the it's Good Friday today, and uh, it's really the end of the season. But anyway, there's some still some good quality fish around. So I suggest you get out and have a crack. Anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe button, and stay safe on the water.